So just a couple of miles down the road here around down Pennsylvania Avenue at the White House, President Biden held a very solemn ceremony today to mark the occasion. In fact, giving out one of our nation's highest civilian honors. This is the Presidential Citizens Medal. Some of the recipients of that medal at the White House today, former Metropolitan, um, former Metropolitan Police Officer Mike Fanone, uh, Capitol Police Officer uh, uh, Harry Dunn, and several others, including Caroline Edwards, a Capitol Police Officer. One hero received this medal posthumously. Her parent, his parents uh, were there to receive it for him. That's Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick. Let's check in now with WSA 9's Casey Nolan, who was at the White House for that ceremony and is there live to tell us more. Hi, Casey. This is the time when a president awards civilians medals at the White House. They've been household names for years. Well, go back two years and one day ago, and most of today's recipients were just doing their jobs far from any spotlight when the Capitol was attacked. History, though, will remember their names, President Biden said today. This is the first time that he has awarded anyone the Presidential Citizens Medal, 12 recipients in all, seven police officers from MPD and the Capitol Police, including three who have passed away. The ceremony inside the White House was emotional at times, with the president recounting the attacks many on the stage endured on January 6th and the trauma they have suffered since after we caught up with one of the recipients, Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn. It's very humbling. Um, I'm, I'm usually not at a loss for words, but this is, wow, it's just a lot. I uh, looked at one of my texts, uh, a couple of them said, I just knew you were going to cry. And I was like, man, I thought I was too, but uh, I held it together. Um, it was like an emotional overload. It's still a lot to process even in this moment right now. but. Um, you know, I, I'm just grateful and humbled and honored to receive this award. You know? Officer Dunn's testimony helped kick off the House investigation of January 6th. He told us he has not yet finished reading the entire report, but so far he is satisfied with his findings and not surprised. He told us other recipients of the medal today included state officials, elections officials from Arizona, Georgia, and Michigan, who all either faced pressure to change results or harassment for doing their jobs. Adam. Casey Nolan, live at the White House. Thank you. I'd like to talk about one of those other heroes who was honored posthumously at that White House ceremony, and that was Brian Sicknick, a uh, Capitol Police officer who was here trying to protect the Capitol on January 6, 2021, uh, was assaulted by insurrectionists and uh, sadly died the next day. Leslie, as we bring it back into you, coming up in just a few minutes, we're going to be telling the story of Sandra Garza, his longtime girlfriend, and uh, his parents, who have now filed a multi-million dollar civil lawsuit against two men in connection with the assault on him and against former President Trump, uh, claiming that uh, they uh, were, were, were responsible uh, for wrongful death. Again, a civil suit. We'll talk about that coming up in just a few minutes. For now, we'll send it back into you. Yeah, it was really emotional there today, and I can only imagine that as honored as those families were to receive those awards posthumously, the thing they want the most, their family members, is the thing that they hold on to the most.